In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about last month's rating statistics across the board provided by gemrate.com. All right, guys, link will be in description in case you guys want to take a look at this stuff further. There's a lot of good information into this. Let's start off with the big one. How did they all do for the month? PSA, they say drop, still over a million cards. So that's a lot of cards being graded. And you think about a million cards. If you have those 5,000 count, uh, what do you call them, shoebox things at home filled, you know how many of those take to be a million cards? That's a lot. I, I, it's impressive still to be able to grade over a million cards. CSG moving right on up, 49% increase. 135k. STC moving up, 81k. Beckett, dropping. Now, I did see uh, one of the group submitters for Beckett drop some new prices. It looks like there's something like four to six months with subgrades or something like that. I think it's now $25. Ooh. They got to do something to keep up because STC's lowered pricing, PSA's lowered pricing. I don't know about CSG. If you want you guys go to CSG, put down in the comments, let me know. Um, I'm not too sure if they drop price, and I just haven't used them. But just a crazy with the amount of cards being graded. You're talking overall there, oh, it's something like 1.25 million cards have been graded in just the month of October. Immense. A lot of cards. We'd never seen grading numbers like this until after this boom where everybody had to get everything graded out there. So... We're going to see how long this stays progressing because in order for some of these businesses that reinvest in themselves for growth, they're going to have to start pushing out special after special after special on this stuff. Which, you know, if you look at slabbing cards like I did originally just to preserve them, now we're looking at values too with it being preserved. You know, it's not a bad option, but... If you're just looking as a collector to preserve your card, get somebody to start opinion on to it, some of that stuff's pricey. All right. PSA, you guys can see the volume by weeks. Can't remember why this was kind of low right there for two of the days. There might have been over like one of the show weekends. You guys can look here. TCG, the big one for PSA across the board. There's your arrows. Uh, you guys could look right there. It's crazy. There's there's the uh, chart by month for PSA. 600,000. That was like 550, if I remember. Another 600, 800. Just immense the numbers they've been throwing up. And really the biggest spike, I would say, is right around in here. And I think that's, yeah, February of this past year. There's a lot of information onto this stuff. Uh, here you guys go again. PCG for PSA, the biggest one, of course, with the Pokemon. And I believe that also... I'm not too sure. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Does that include like Magic the Gathering and all that stuff? Or just PCG just straight non... It's just Pokemon. I thought it included like Magic the Gathering and the other games, too. All right, big ones. 2021 Prism Football. 2020 Select Football. Pokemon. Mosaic Football. 2020 Prism Basketball. Don Russ. That's surprising. Football. Uh, 2020 or 2020 Panini Prism Football. And look, I thought I said that before. Just so much on here. 86 Fleer Basketball. A lot being graded. Charizard back at number one. Can't mess with that little uh, dragon dude, man. I'm telling you. The only person that probably could beat Michael Jordan is Charizard out there. Pikachu coming in a strong third spot. Shohei Otani. Brady Herbert. The Mew. Yeah, I think you say the Mew. Kobe, Burrow, Mac Jones, Lawrence, LeBron. Add to the list was T Law, and re he replaced LaMelo Ball. There was another one on here I want to show you guys. Where's it at? Right here. PSA Most Graded Cards 2020 Panini Prism Anthony Edwards Base. 
immense skill in there. Same with the 18 uh, Otanis from Bowman. Uh, PSA's most graded cards. Wander Franco. Up there fighting it out with Charizards. <laughs> kind of crazy. Still like the same thing. Things the same exact. Almost, yeah. Not too sure what the difference is between these, to be honest. Oh, other one's like a percentage. Well, they're both percentages. Oh, one's total number. Okay, I got it now. But not bad. Not bad at all for PSA for the month of October. They pushed a lot out. I could tell you I had an email because I had some stuff sitting from the day I got my grades until it shipped out four business days. And to me, I understand if it has to ship out next business day, but when we start hitting two, three, four days after I've already paid, something's getting lost in a the sauce. They're getting stuff slid across. They just need to find a better solution not to be, I don't know if it's disorganization or what down there on that part, but I feel bad having to email people directly onto this stuff. and be like, dude, my stuff's been sitting there for four business days. I paid for it, had grades at this time of the day. I just hate doing it, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right, before we move into STC, this video is not sponsored today by Manscaped. So we will not be talking about saving balls onto this video today. Manscaped is not sponsoring this video at all. All right, now that I have my little joke aside, because everybody I see out there is being sponsored by Manscaped, let's keep going down. All righty here, STC. You guys can see their biggest one's baseball, primarily because of vintage. I will say that. But what really got me here is okay, so look where the baseball numbers are down here. But look up here 2021 Donruss Optic Football, Select 21 uh, Select Football, all that up there really surprised me. I figured our vintage would be up higher on this chart. And then, of course, Michael Jordan won two Mickey Mantle. Does not surprise me. But with PSA, you know, you don't see Mickey Mantle's name ever up there. I don't think I have during the whole COVID, to be honest. Aaron Judge. Another popular one. Hank Aaron. Willie Mays. Heck, they even Jalen Hurts. Most graded cards. Bench rookie. Mantle. Henderson rookie. Another Mantle. Nolan rookie. Griffey 89 up for deck. I like seeing stuff like this because it makes me, to me, as both a collector and a person that's going to be a dealer out there, I still know people are looking for this stuff and they find it raw and still grading it. I like seeing this. I hate seeing that everybody's grading all the brand new stuff because I don't get to see data from further back unless I dig it up. CSG, in case you guys are interested in it, football is their top one right now. And basically, Chronicles Football 2020. Jordan leads the way here, too, because they don't do uh, Pokemon, if I recall right. There's Beckett. Maybe, see, they, maybe they do do it. I just don't know about it. Yeah, it's not up here. Unless it's under miscellaneous. Because I think they have a different company of grades for them Pokemon stuff. Alright, but yeah, right down there. Then we go down here to Beckett. Woo! Stuff just dwindling. Look at all that red. That must be F1 miscellaneous. The little boom boom car. Alright, guys. I'll put the link down there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Overall, great. I know a lot of people don't like it. It's a money grab. A lot of people say, I've been in it for decades but mine was always to preserve my cards and of course it did add some value if you had those rare really in good shape cards that took the guests away between people trying to haggle trying to tell you oh no that's excellent mint when it's really you know near mint or mint but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think other than that catch you guys next video have a good one